Okay, so um, we are going now to add some plots to visualize the outputs of the models. <clears throat> For a network model, there is not so much different possible plots uh, to be to be displayed. Uh, the most important one is the degree distribution of the network. But this is not the first um, plot we are going to do. We are going to make a, a more simple plot at the beginning and then we will add the, uh, the degree distribution. So, uh, the element of the interface can be moved, resized and so on. Um, so, with the left click you can uh, make a selection of some elements and move them otherwise you can make a right click and mm, select select to move uh, the button uh, or the sliders wherever you want in the interface but you can also use your left your right button your right mouse button to add some elements so here we want a plot okay so this uh, window opens, for now we just type OK, we move it here for example, OK. So then with the right click we select Edit, we'll change the name and uh, we, will, uh, we will plot the number of links uh, during time. So, uh, number of links Voilà. Um, so the there is several um, ways to configure the plot, but we will stay very very simple for now. So we don't write anything here, but uh, the pen is uh, with the, the information that will be displayed on, on the plot, and we will modify this this pen so for for now it's called default and it just plants the count of turtles here we don't do not want to count the number of nodes because we already know the number of nodes but maybe we can uh, plot the number of links because this may vary uh, among time okay so i just edited the code uh, of the plot i will change the color uh, let's say uh, yellow, okay. Not uh, yellow is not visible on white. Uh, let's say blue, okay. Blue. Um, I don't change the name of the plot. I click OK. I set up and I create some links, and nothing happens. The plot is not updated. In fact, you can see plots as observers of the model. You already have an observer, this is the world, it's a, it's a picture that the NetLogo draws for, uh, for us uh, to represent the agent, but uh, here we have added a plot that has not been updated when I ask the model to create some links. So we will have to say to NetLogo, okay, when the model has changed, please send a message to every observer of the model and tell us that the model has changed and that they have to update their, uh, their, uh, their contents. So in NetLogo you do that with the command tick. Tick is, um, you can see that as a step of simulation. Uh, the command tick is, uh, is simply incrementing uh, a tick counter and it also has the property of uh, waking up the observer of a model. So the world of NetLogo is by default uh, updated at each, uh, each event, but for the plot we have, to, we have to put the command tick into the program to say that something has, has changed uh, for the code. So, uh, we go in the code part, just move that on the, alright, okay. So, um, 
Um, you have to initialize the tick counter as in as a, as a part of the setup procedure. It's uh, just like that. So at the end of the setup procedure, you type the command reset dash ticks. This will put the tick counter to zero and uh, just initialize the counter of ticks. Then, at for every uh, procedure that will change the state of the model and uh, for which we want to observe the consequence, we will add the, the keyword tick at the end of the code. So, what changes uh, the, the state of the network? Everything that add node or add uh, links. So, this function creates single links, it adds uh, a link, so at the end of the function I add tick. Uh, select one node doesn't change the state of the system, it's always, uh, always only change uh, one variable of, uh, of, the, of the node, which is a change, but it doesn't change the structure of the network, and this is what, uh, what we are interested in. So. We don't uh, we don't put tick uh, at the end of the of, of this code. It's not necessary. And uh, but at the end of create nb links, the the system has changed. So we have to warn uh, the observers that the system has changed. Okay, I save the the modification. I go back to the interface. I set up my uh, my model and let's try uh, create nb links. And you have observed that now that the tick has been sent at the end of the of the procedure create nb links, the observer are are aware of the change of state. So okay, um, I have created uh, 50 links. So if I do that for a long time, the number of links stays constant. But if I select one node again and I create links from this node to the other, you can see that the number of links increase. Um, if I uh, click again on, on uh, create NB links, the number of links uh, drop to the number of links uh, defined by the sliders because in the code of create NB links, we start by removing Every, link, every previous links that were in the network. So, um, basically that's it. We have add, we have added a plot of the number of links that is varying occur, uh, during time, uh, following what we do with um, uh, with the interface. So when we add nodes, it increases, and when when we decrease the number of links we want and create uh, them. It decrease also. Okay, so um, now uh, maybe a plot is a little bit uh, too much to monitor two values that uh, inter in interest us, that we are interested in. That is the number of nodes and the number of um, of links. So we can just add monitor to. To observe this value, so a monitor is, a, is not a plot; it's just a, a little window with a value inside. It takes a reporter. A reporter is something that call uh, some function on the on the model and who reports the result of the function. So I can basically put any uh, any function of um, calculation like count, max, sum, minimum, uh, average, and so on. Here we want to monitor the number of links, so count links is enough. You can change the, the display name, so for example number of links. You add that, and since it's a reporter, you don't have to warn them, because they observe the variables that you want them to, to compute, so you don't have to add some tick or something. Uh, let's count the number of nodes, so the number of, of totals, you just count totals. Of nodes for us, okay. Uh, so there is not, there is no surprise since uh, we have by construction created uh, fifty nodes. 
but if I drop the quantity to 26, the number is uh, put to 26. If I, if I create uh, one link uh, that is not created, maybe uh, because uh, the same was, uh, was uh, ah, because I did not select. Uh, sorry, I did not select uh, a node. Okay, so now the node is selected. Uh, okay, I have had uh, five links and the, the counter is updated. Okay, so um, I will stop here uh, for um, for this video, but uh, I continue the adding of plots, uh, especially the debris distribution in the next video. Thank you.